Sa inferential statistics, mahalaga na yung sample na ginagamit natin ay eh reliable para kumuha tayo ng conclusion pa patungkol sa population. At bago tayo gumamit ng mga formula para sa pagkuha ng mean and standard deviation mula sa sample natin, kailangan muna na masatisfy yung mga conditions na nandito sa mga rules ko sa lesson natin today para maging reliable yung mga conclusions natin tungkol sa population. Now, the rule of thumb sa pagkuha ng sample mean at sample standard deviation mula sa sample proportion is given by this formula. Para sa ating uh, sample mean or mean based dun sa sample proportion, in estimate or ang unbiased estimator niya will be your proportion at ang standard deviation naman ay given by this formula which is the square root of PQ all over N. Now, kailan natin pwedeng i-trust or pagkatiwalaan na ang mean at ang standard deviation ng ating sample given a population proportion ay magiging reliable um, re um, source ng ating uh, conclusion patungkol sa population. Ito yung mga rules or conditions na kailangan muna natin i-satisfy bago tayo magsagot ng mga questions or inference questions patungkol sa population base sa ating sample. Yung rule of thumb number one, nagsasabi kailangan masatisfy natin to bago natin ma trust yung formula natin na dapat daw yung population na pinagkukunan nyo should be greater than or equal to the 10 times the sample size. So, pag nasatisfy nyo yung rule of thumb number one, kailangan talagang galing sa napakalaking um, population yung inyong uh, uh, proportion bago tayo makapag-trust nung ating conclusion dun sa ating sample. At yan yung rule of thumb number one. At yung rule of thumb number two naman, yung daw n times p or your sample size times your proportion should be greater than or equal to 10 kasabay ng ang sample size din times q which is the complement of p is greater than or equal to 10. At ito yung second rule of thumb na kailangan nating masatisfy bago tayo mag-trust or mag, uh, magtiwala sa result ng ating uh, observation dun sa sample base dun sa population. So mahalaga itong mga rules na to bago tayo gumamit ng mga formula patungkol sa sample natin. Na ito yung example na bago tayo um, sa, bago natin sagutin yung probability question, kailangan masatisfy muna yung mga rule of thumbs bago tayo mag-proceed sa ating uh, statistical computation ng mean and variance ng sample proportion. So a factory employs 3,000 unionized workers of whom 30% are Hispanic. Now the 15-member union executive committee contains three Hispanics. What would be the probability of three or fewer Hispanics if the executive committee were chosen at random from all the workers? So, kailangan daw natin masagot yung probability questions, question na to. Pero bago tayo magsagot ng, ng probability question patungkol sa normal distribution na given yung sample proportion, kailangan muna natin yung mean and standard deviation. At para makuha yung mean, alam natin ng unbiased estimator ng mean given the, the population proportion ay eh yung proportion itself. At yung pagkuha naman ng standard deviation, gagamit tayo ng formula which is the square root of PQ all over N. Now, bago natin mahanap tong dalawang to, bago tayo mag ng oras para hanapin natin si mu at si p and then yung normal distribution and then yung area under the curve, Kailangan muna nating i-verify yung ating conditions kasi kung hindi siya ma-verify, hindi natin matatrust yung ating result kasi hindi nag-qualify dun sa ating test. So yung first test natin is yung rule of thumb number one. Is the population greater than or equal to 10 times your sample size? So yung population dito is 3,000. So 3,000 is greater than 10 times the sample size of 15. So 10 times 15 is 150. So nasatisfy yung inequality nyo. So, yung rule of thumb number one, eh, pasado. Pero, kailangan yung rule of thumb number two, pasado rin para matrust natin yung ating result. So, yung second um, condition, yung rule of thumb number two, n times p should be greater than or equal to 10, and n times q should also be greater than or equal to 10. Now, dun sa first part ng rule of thumb number two, 15 times 0.30, is greater than or equal to 10, eh hindi satisfied kasi 15 times 0.30 is 4.5, which is obviously not equal or greater than 10. So, hindi na satisfy yung first rule of thumb, I mean first 
uh, condition sa second rule of thumb, dun sa second condition ng second rule of thumb naman, na satisfy nga siya, 15 times 0.70 is equal to 10.5, which is greater than 10. Pero since meron kang isa na nag- uh, um, prove na hindi siya qualified, therefore, hindi natin pwedeng i-trust yung ating conclusion kahit na mahanap natin yung P gamit ang formula, mahanap natin ang um, standard deviation of P hat gamit ang formula, mababali wala lahat yan dahil hindi na satisfy yung condition. At yan yung kahalagahan ng, mga, ng rule of thumbs kapag ka nagko-compute tayo ng probability or any word problems involving the sample proportion na dapat masatisfy muna ang conditions bago tayo gumamit ng mga formula para masagot yung tanong natin.